A feeder is a very important part in the exercise. He or she can make it or break it. This is Basic Feather. We are a badminton brand founded by myself, Lemon Quack, and Morten Frost, the former Old England champion. What we want to do is to create high quality products with a very minimalistic approach. So when you see our products, I'm sure you'll feel like this minimalistic Scandinavian vibe. That's what we believe is missing in badminton. So the feeder, in all our exercise video, we always mention that the feeder is super important. Now we have a dedicated video for that one, just to highlight how important it is. Often when we do uh, either one against one exercises or two against one, if the feeder is, I would say, sleeping, it basically ruins all the rhythm and just breaks the exercises. And it's not providing a good practice for the one doing the exercise, thereby you're not a good sparing partner. I think that is important because if you are a good sparing partner towards your training partners, then they will for sure want to give back to you and give the best possible feeding as possible. I think you should be super aware as a feeder, very like deep dive into it in your mindset, the exercises and, and if it's let's say a two against one exercise, although the shuttle is not coming in, in your direction and perhaps you're, you are two at the net, you have to be aware, read what's happening on the court because then you're able to provide the best possible feeding. Don't just stand here and not ready with your legs, your racket is not ready and you basically just watching badminton. You need to be in the exercise still. Have a look what's happening in court. Your racket is ready. Your footwork is ready. That's how you're a good sparing partner. So let's say in two against one exercise, I've just highlighted how important it is to always be ready. Although you are not getting the shuttle sort of. And the reason why I want you to do that is because then you can anticipate on court. You almost in the rally anyway, although you're not getting the shuttle. So that's why I want you to always stay aware because then you can time the shot. So let's say that if I'm not ready as a feeder and I'm standing at the net, I get the shuttle. And if I'm not ready, I might play a super difficult shot, which is not realistic in a game because I meet it too early or I simply just meet it too slow and that's not realistic either. I want to put exactly the pressure that the one doing the exercise wants. So sometimes it is super speed, then that's my feeding. Sometimes it's super slow and then I need to adjust my feeding. I think like being able to adjust and adapt is the key words in this as a feeder because I can't really say exactly what to do, when to do it, but what I want you to focus on is just be aware when you are a feeder. Give as much as you can as a feeder because you will for sure get that feeding back when you are doing the exercises and in that way you are pushing each other to the limits and pushing each other to be the best players as possible. So if I'm not ready as a, as a feeder, maybe I'll, I'll make too many easy mistakes. So my lifts are in bad quality, they are too short or they're going out on the sidelines, whatever it might be. I played into the net uh, instead of playing a good quality shot to the one doing the exercise. So that's like very common mistakes I see when I'm not ready as a feeder. It's these things that I want you to remember and not doing be prepared and it's also okay when you do exercises to have demands towards your feeders. It's okay to go to them in a nice way, say that they need to be ready or come on guys, whatever it might be. Say it in a nice way, of course, but it's okay to put pressure on your feeders that you would like the quality because if they're not providing you quality, then you're not becoming a better player. So now you've seen a few examples of a feeder that weren't ready and you can see how it ruins the entire exercise. So by watching this video, you hopefully become a better training partner, a sparring partner. And the key message is always be ready, deliver the best feeding as possible because I'm sure they will pay back a hundred times. If you liked watching this video and enjoyed it, please press the subscribe button and subscribe to Basic Feather. Thank you.